This is Anderson Opus 33, number 20. This is a tough articulation exercise. We focus on short notes versus long notes, uh, loud notes versus soft notes. <clears throat> Here we go. This is more about consistency and not anything new that we haven't come across before. Just be careful. Certain notes have staccato marks over them and certain eighth notes do not. If you can pay close attention and bring out the difference, then you have some advanced musical skill. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I find it very, very helpful to practice this etude um, on the slower side and focus on being more consistent with the articulation rather than racing through it as fast as you can. I mean, going fast like this. Or even faster. I mean, that you're really not accomplishing much by going too fast for all things musical slow the tempo down so that you can actually ponder about it so you can actually think about problems and work through them so that you can become a better musician the goal of the musician is again not to get faster and faster the goal of the musician is to learn more and more and to become more and more accurate to get skills and then to take those skills and apply them to the pieces that you want to play so that they're more beautiful, more complex, and you can communicate what you want to communicate. A couple of uh, tips and warnings about this. Because of the difficulty of the high register, please remember that they don't have staccato marks over them, so be careful not to clip them. I mean like this. Some flute players have that bad habit of clipping off the ends of the notes of slurs. They don't have staccato, so make sure it rings on the top. So it's... And you can practice your heavy vibrato on the upper register. I love this middle section. The harmonic progression is beautiful, but as a flute player, strive for a continual flow of the musical phrase so that it's not stopped or choppy. Uh, good luck and happy practicing.